Live on Your Sideline is sponsored by Side and Stricker Noby John Deere. Welcome into the final five on your sideline of 2022. I'm Corey Miller and we've got the perfect capper for the year tonight. It's holiday tournament season and we were loaded with highlights all week long. Now we're bringing you big games from tonight and spotlighting some other area title games from the past few days. So let's get to it. Ryan Henson's MICDS Rams taking on Kirkwood in the Don Maurer holiday tournament final at MICDS. Kirkwood's Aiden Trowick hits iron, it goes up, but it eventually goes down for three. Then it's Brandon Clemens for MICDS, who's gonna hit the hesitation, watch this. He's gonna get the smooth finish at the rim. Pioneers would catch fire though. This is gonna be Javaris Moy from downtown for another triple, and Kirkwood beats host MICDS 52 to 44 to win the Don Maurer Invitational. Girls Championship at the Don Maurer Invitational. Fort Zumalt West and Marquette. Here's a heck of a play. Wes Heidi Pickett gets the ball and goes baseline to baseline, coast to coast. That is a big time play. Later on, it's Marquette's Macy McNeese for three from the corner. That's a great name. But Zumalt West would separate themselves. Great passing here as Sarah Sensony gets the finish at the rim. The Panthers finish off the tournament as champions. They win narrowly 44 to 40 over Marquette to take home the trophy from MICDS. To Maryville University, Coaches versus Cancer Championship. Lafayette welcoming in the Columbia Hickman Cupies to town. Cooper Williams kicks things off with a three from the corner for Lafayette right there. Then it's going to be Big Matt Hafner, who's going to drive and finish with a big and one right here. Lafayette goes back outside to Williams later in the game. He hit that corner three earlier, and he can hit it from the top of the arc, too. He sinks it as the 13th seeded Lancers go on to win the Coaches versus Cancer Championship 48 to 38 over Hickman. DeSmet taking on Memphis in the third place game of the Coaches versus Cancer Tournament. And this is the Justin Duff highlight reel. First he takes the steal and takes a nice stroll down the court for an easy lay in. Then Duff is gonna take a teammate's block shot and say, that's all right, I'm gonna convert it anyways. I think you see why he's one of the top scorers in the area. Later on, it's Duff again on another tough drive to the hoop, but his heroics, they weren't enough tonight. Memphis beats DeSmet 59-52 in that third place game. Let's go to Collinsville. No local teams in the Prairie Farms Classic Championship, so how about Triad and McClure North, the consolation title game. Look there, it's the commish Rick Hummel. He was there to watch his alma mater, Quincy, playing in the championship. McClure off and running early. Tony Atkins sinks the nice triple, and Triad, they're going to get it done in the paint. Drew Winslow converts the nice drive to the hoop, but later on, McClure North would show why they're going to win this game. They go on the break, and it's Atkins again. Tough finish at the rim this time through traffic, and McClure North wins the consolation in a nail-biter, 45-44 over Triad. Now let's do some championship games from earlier this week. Freeburg versus Columbia in the finals of the annual Freeburg-Columbia tournament. I know from personal experience, this is a fierce, fierce rivalry. Freeburg with a great pair of plays here off the top. Caleb Weber found Julian Tretman for two. Then it's going to be Cole Stewart right there with a the slick reverse layup. Jim was rocking last night, but the Eagles can make some big plays too. Timelining down the third, it's Hayes Van Brigson finishing off the tough drive. And then Dylan Murphy sinks some three-point heartbreakers late. Eagles get bragging rights. They win the Freeburg Columbia Tournament 60 to 55 over host Freeburg. Championship game of the Mascuda Holiday Tournament last night, and it was a Southwestern Conference girls matchup. Alton and O'Fallon. Here's a name to know. That's six foot two O'Fallon Jr. Demaya Bolds. She gets the two right there. She's one to watch. This was a classic, and both teams came to play. Here's a, Alton's Alyssa Lewis. She hits the three from the corner. That's going to be Kyoko Proctor for the Redbirds, finishing at the rim. This game came all the way down to the wire, but Alton wins the Mascuda Tourney Championship 52 to 51 over O'Fallon. All right, let's go to Viz. Finals of the Visitation Tournament earlier this week. National Powerhouse Incarnate Word against budding local powerhouse John Burroughs. Here's why Incarnate's one of the best in the country. Natalie Potts football pass to Brooke Coffey. She finishes for the score. They make it look so easy. Burroughs was up for the challenge early. This is going to be Monet Witherspoon. She hits the three from the corner. But the Red Knights haven't lost a game since February 2020. You heard me right, and they would not lose on Wednesday night. Potts on the finish this time, and Incarnate pulled away and won the Viz Championship 64-37 over Burroughs. 